Okay, we're gonna start. All right, so a few of the things I'm taking away from this class, I'm gonna list them out real quick. Uh, mentorship programs, uh, smart goals, the nominal work group technique, the nominal group technique, uh, the cat's three skills, and particularly the human one, team autonomy groups. Yeah, that's it. Um, and then, so mentorship, uh, I'll take it away because I'll definitely want to get a mentorship in the future. And I've never really thought about that before, but I'll definitely look to get like a sponsor and advocate because they just really help you out with, if you're trying to get like a raise and work, they can point you to the right direction and try to help you out in that sort of sense. So it's, it'll be nice and down the road for that. Um, next up is smart goals. I think this is like probably the biggest one for me in this, from this class that I'll be taking away. And that's because, well, SMART goals are a specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely goals that you set for yourself. So it would be kind of like, let me, for example, for me, it might be like, I'm going to graduate next spring and I'm going to be looking for a job. So I can set a goal, say, uh, I want to have five interviews by the end of school year, which uh, May 7th. So I have five interviews set up by May 7th and I can, that's an achievable goal because I can go through the school and I can find uh, different employers who are having uh, interviews set up so I can get myself into an interview and then I can easily track that I have, I'm going to do five of them and I can set them up and I have a realistic time schedule from now. So that's a few months. So I can definitely do that. Um, the next one is nominal group technique. And I like this because I'll probably be using it myself for when I get to a manager position, hopefully, which is I'm just trying to do project management for construction. But like uh, we did for that one project where we tried to make the biggest tower, we kind of all sat down and it was quiet and we just kind of made out different ways of how we are going to uh, build up our tower. So we kind of brainstormed for about 10 minutes and then come together and then we've decided on what we we're gonna do and then we executed the plan. So that'll be a good one to, to implement into the future. Um, next up is Cat's three skills. And let me, but they are um, the technical, human, and conceptual. And I think I relate to the human one mostly because it, it says that you have ability to work with a lot of people and you're open to new inputs and kind of new decisions. So I think I am, I like to be like a leader in a group. So I like to think like I'm open to hear everyone's decisions. We can find out how we're going to make this and like go through whatever our problem is that we need to get through. And, you know, so that's what I'll take away from that. And then lastly would be the, t the team autonomy uh, groups. And that's just like kind of, I didn't ever really think of how different kinds of groups would work differently. I didn't really think of like if there were different groups, but you've got your traditional team, your EI group, your semi-autonomous, your self-managing and the self-designing. So I'll definitely be taking this with me when I go to get a job in the future and try to make a team of my own for like, say, a small construction project. I'm definitely going to try to get like a self-managing or self-designing team, something that is high work rate and that we can get through our work together and get it done in a timely manner. And you can also find that in chapter 10. And the SMART goals is chapter 5, by the way. And one of my favorite things we talked about in class or the like why or why is a self-reflect so uh valuable to us and I think honestly if you go back and you do this it kind of reminds you of what we all learned in class and you know you actually have to think sit there and think about it and how and what we're going to take away from this so uh I think in that aspect, it kind of just lets you know and you kind of see where you're at in the class or in your management role. So and then lastly, what would I like to learn about more? And I'm going to say probably like teamwork and the like goal setting and selecting members of your team, because once we get out there in the work for the work field and we're trying to, you know, we have to set goals to uh, get certain jobs done in a timely manner or whatever it is. 
and also get a good work crew. You know, I think I'm gonna have to look for more into that so I can make sure I have the best work crew I have. And, you know, we work together with teamwork and we get all that done, everything we need to done, get done. So, but that's what I'll take away from this class and I've enjoyed it a lot. And thank you very much.